Hi everyone and welcome to my presentation on creating interactive PowerPoint presentations. Before I go any further, I want to get straight into showing you what I want to uh, teach in this presentation. Now, this is a presentation I made on prepositions for my student. And if you go to the first question slide here, you can see that there's a blank space in this sentence here asking for one of these four answers. The boy is sitting on the rocking horse is obviously the right answer. If you click the grey box on, that's going to take you to a feedback slide saying, yep, you're right for two seconds, and then it's going to take you back to the question. Uh, conversely, if you got it wrong, if you said the boy is sitting in the rocking horse and click that, you'd be taken to a slide saying that, hey, you're wrong, try again. Same with C and D here. Okay, when you do get it right, you can say, right, it's time to go to the next question. Click on the next button, go and answer the uh, second question, and the same thing will happen. Uh, depending on where you click, you're going to get feedback, so yes, you're right, or no, you're wrong. Okay, uh, so that's the, the beauty of uh, PowerPoint. It can be used as an interactive tool, um, but it, I think it's often underutilized. So this is a presentation to teach you very quickly how to do this. Now, um, I've actually created a template here uh, at this URL down here, that's slideshare.net slash David Criniti, C-R-I-N-I-T-I, slash interactive point. And if you go to that URL, you can uh, download this template that I've created. Which looks like this. There's just uh, 10 slides involved. Uh, the first couple are just um, heading, you insert your own heading if you want your students to put their names. Now, the next slide is just a separator. This separates the, the test that you're going to create from the template. Now, on the template, I've given you four basic slides. Each one has a different option as the correct answer. Now, this one has A triggered you go to this positive feedback slide. Um, the next one says that B is going to go to the positive feedback slide. And of course, all the grey buttons are going to go to that incorrect uh, feedback slide and say, no, you're wrong. And it'll go back to your question after two seconds. Uh, so this A is right. Click uh, Slide 5 says B is right. Slide 6 says C is right. And slide 7 says D is right. Now, once you've downloaded this template from the URL I showed you before, all you need to do is decide how many questions you want in your test. And before you even write the things, think of, um, right, do you want question one to have A, B, C, or D as the correct response? Uh, do you want question two to have A, B, C, or D as the correct response? And so on. So let's say that we want our first question to have B being the correct uh, answer. We'll make a copy of this template slide here and put it above the yellow slide. So we'll click on slide number five and we'll say uh, insert duplicate slide. That makes a copy of that. And we'll drag this copy up over the yellow slide and that can be our question number one. If we double click in this box here, put in number one, we can write our question a bit later. Then say you want question two to have D as the correct response. Simply click on this slide in the templates, which has D as the correct response, and insert duplicate slide to make a copy of it, and drag it up over the yellow slide before labeling it question two. All right, so it's just a matter of copying, and of course you don't want A to be the correct response all the time. You want to mix it up between A, B, C, and D. I'm going to pause the video now while I make 10 question slides, and I'll talk about putting the question in up. Okay, I've now put in 10 questions, 
and as you can see I've got my yellow slide at the bottom and then the four template slides. Once I'm, I've, uh, satis I'm satisfied that I've actually put in as many questions as I need in the test, I can go through and delete slides. So delete the yellow one and the ones come after it, these template slides, and you'll have your finished is after the last question. This slide saying you're finished is after the last question, and these feedback slides are, are right at the very bottom. Um, Okay, so once you've done that, it's just a matter of inserting your question, your options. Now, the reason I've got these uh, underscores here is so that you can easily just double click uh, where it says insert question here, double click and type in your question. Then go through and double click on each response and type in a response. Obviously B and C in this example will be incorrect and D will be your correct answer. Okay, I'm back again. I've just put in the easiest of questions for this example. What is one's one? Obviously A, B and C are wrong and D is the correct response. So if we play this presentation, you click on D and you're gonna say, you're gonna go to that feedback slide. If you click on any other option, it'll take you to, no, try again. Now, of course, now that you've done this, you don't want to give your students the answer by having it coloured in green. I just made it uh, easy for you to see as a teacher um, which one's right. So once you've typed in your question, you've got your correct answer in, all you need to do is change this from green to the same colour as these, to grey. So right click on the green button, choose format for shape, and in this window here, you want to change the colour from green to grey. Right up the top here, then click OK. And basically, uh, that's it. So, um, you go through, you're writing, I've put in question 2 here. Again, I would do the same thing. Right click, format auto shape, and change it from green to grey, then click OK. Before you do that, you might like to save a copy as the, um, you know, the teacher's copy, which uh, has the answers there in green for you. But obviously, you give your students this one. Uh, now, I hope um, that's been self-explanatory for you guys. I'll just bring up the um, the URL once again. It's um, slideshare.net slash David Craniti slash interactive PowerPoint. If you've got any questions, post them here. I might try and do a, another video at a, a later stage which actually shows you how to program those buttons yourself. At the minute, basically, this is a cheat, and like I said, it's for, for teachers who maybe haven't used PowerPoint that much before. You don't, know, you don't need to know too much about it. Just go to that URL, download it, watch this video again, and it'll show you how to make that, which is a, uh, a useful resource in the classroom. All right, thank you, and good luck.